emotional argument is always subjective in that it is not ultimately true. The secularists would argue that. I'll argue it. I'll make even a stronger argument as a Christian in that the objective truth is the truth of the Most High God. The, the objective truth is beyond logic. It is the Word of God. And from that position, I would say, the heart, as a Christian, I would argue, against the secular argument and against any argument, I would argue that the emotional appeal, the subjective argument, is always false. And it's always a relevant objective, of course, because it's subjective. But bereft of a foundation in truth, it's automatically wrong. So the point being made is progressives are not Christian people. They, are, they do not follow the Most High God. They do not walk in Christ. They do not have objective, ultimate truth. So they cannot make objective, ultimate arguments pertaining to any type of emotional thing. So if I make an emotional appeal in that it's wrong to do this to someone because it's wrong, I stand on the objective foundation that there is a right and there is a wrong. I, gain, I, I gather that from, from scriptures, how to live, the philosophy. Philosophy is how does one live their life? All, that's, all that is in scripture, right? So I would say to the progressive, none of your movements have any grounds to stand on, no legs to stand on, because you live in a subjective reality. Your, your morality is relative, right? So just because you think, oh, we need to live this way, we need to do this for humanity, that doesn't mean it's objectively true, and that doesn't mean everyone needs to do that, right? So they operate in this objective fashion as moral authority, yet they don't really have any morality that's true. They have a relative morality that's rooted in subjectivity based on, hey, you do what you want, I'll do what I want. But then at the same time, they'll make objective moral claims. Like we need to stop the digital divide. We need to end racism. That's like ending murder. You can't end aspects of the human condition. Hence fallen nature of men. Hence the importance of the Christian worldview because we understand humanity. We understand how you think and why you think and why you do what you do. And we have the grounds to make arguments against it. The progressive doesn't have that. And again, this isn't a progressive versus conservative argument. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just using the progressive as, as a concept because these are, this is the ideology that's running the global governance movement. Conservatives are in line with it as well, trust me. Not, not true conservatives in the social sense, but I mean more like political conservatives. So uh, you can't trust the heart, and that's what this is, this is important here. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You can't know it if you don't know the truth. If your heart is guided by the truth, that objective truth, if it's as long as it's always guided there, your heart can can have stability, right? It can it can be stable because it has it has that that rock to stand on. It's not being moved by sand. It's it's built upon rock. It's solid. As long as it's guided, as long as the heart is guided by the Holy Spirit, what we would say, the truth. All right. So that's why you can't trust the heart in, in any given sense. And at least from my view, I think that's what this is describing here. You must have the proper guidance. You must have the proper foundation. You must understand truth. You must have truth before you can make claims. Then he says, this is, now this is important. This, I believe, speaks to the argument I'm trying to make here about without God, you can never accomplish that truth, that ultimate objective truth. The Lord, the Lord, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. I, I do, I, the Lord, he says. I define what's true and who's right and who's wrong based on my ultimate objective all-knowing, all-seeing truth. That's, that's, that's the point here. So without that, you'll never reach truth in the, in the truest sense, in the, in the most objective sense of it, right? So this is an argument against a progressivism. You guys are not 
truthful in any sense. And we can't get to truth and we can't claim truth if we follow you, hence follow the Most High God. And you'll never be led astray. So the Father is the heart's guidance. He, and he's also the judge, right? We should aim to be right in God's eyes. That's, that's how I try my best. All of me infallible, okay? I try my best to live in a way that I believe through scripture that God will, will see. It will be right in God's eyes. I don't care about what man thinks. I don't care about what society thinks. I don't care about what establishments thinks, organizations, think tanks, religious groups. I don't care what any of these, these factions think. As long as it's right in God's eye, I'm on the right path. As long as it aligns with scripture, I'm on the right path. I can't go wrong. Are you following the right path? 